Guys, Jed Walters here. Welcome to my teaching studio down in Truefit Golf Center in Warrington. Uh, today's topic I want to talk about is the transition. So the movement from the top of the backswing starting the downswing. It's something that I see a movement made um, not in the most efficient way. So we're going to look at what some of those inefficient ways are and a nice little drill to help you gain control of that movement, make it a little bit smoother and help you strike the golf ball a little bit better. So let's go and take a look. So transition, top of the backswing into downswing. One of the big issues in a transition really affects the quality of your shot and that is if it gets too quick. If we snatch the club down once it gets to the top of the backswing, or sometimes even before it's reached the top of the backswing, sometimes we try and get down to hit the ball so quickly and we want to swing at it so aggressively that we don't even complete one movement. So we actually don't make an efficient move and allow ourselves to be able to move with the correct speed in the correct order in the downswing. So let's look at the backswing for a second. So from the top of the backswing here, a lot of this jerking movement with the hands and sometimes with upper body as well. So a shoulders movement, a pull down, wanted to try and affect speed on the club. If we think about it, the end that we hold doesn't really have a great deal of research and development in it relative to the end that strikes the golf ball. So if we try and enforce speed and yank this end, then it's not really going to have a positive effect. This is the end that needs to swing around us, the club head. This is where the millions of dollars of investment go in from every manufacturer. So if we swing this around the body with more efficiency, then the club will do what it's designed to do and we'll see the results that we want to see. So we need to make sure that at the top of the back swing, we are set and we're ready to be able to efficiently move the body and then let the speed really develop round and through so the club head moves around the body. So, nice drill to be able to get the feeling. Okay, we're going to do it in two stages. The first thing that we want to do is we're going to make a back swing which is going to be complete and then at the top I want you to count to three. So one, two, three, and then turn through. So the completion of the backswing, the stop, the count, that gets you used to making a backswing and not getting quick, not snatching the downswing, not yanking on the handle, throwing the shoulders in, because from here, we're turning. So I want you to feel a lead, hit, rotate in a circle behind you, and let everything else follow. Okay, so let's hit a shot with that feeling. So I've got my six iron here, so I'm taking my setup. So to the top, one, two, three, and turn. So we've got rotation of the body, speed being developed. We get a nice strike and get a really nice result. So hitting some shots, getting used to that feeling is important. And then when you get on the golf course, what I want you to then try and feel is at the top of the backswing, we have a split second of a pause and then we turn down. So it helps you finish the backswing and then start the downswing with a nice smooth rotation rather than yanking on the handle of the club and getting out of sequence and just trying to power it with this area when this area isn't really the biggest power source. So let's hit one now in what would be your on-course feeling. So backswing, split second of a pause at the top and then turn through. And when you watch that, it doesn't look like I've stopped, but I have, I've paused. In my mind, I've completed a stop, then I've turned through. So if we can practice counting to three, then turning, and then on the golf course, we've got that split second of a pause. It keeps us nice and controlled so that we don't rush, we don't try and hit too hard at it. We can turn through, we can develop the speed in the right way and give us much more consistent results. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. Um, let me know your thoughts on the transition. Is it something that you struggle with or something that now looking at videos on it, you might think, oh well, yeah, maybe that is a little bit of me, I snatch it a little bit from the top. Let me know your thoughts, post your comments in the box below. And also, 
once you've tried the drill, how you get on with the drill. It might take you a little bit of time to get used to contact from making this change, because it's not the easiest thing in the world to do to stop at the top of the backswing and then start again. But if you move the body in that nice, efficient way with the turn and the rotation, rather than trying to pull the hands down, then we're going to get much more success moving forward. Once you get used to it, you'll start to see some nice benefits from it too. Uh, so post comments in the box below. Give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you don't already do so and uh, look forward to seeing you guys again next time thanks for watching